Well, hello, you glorious humans of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, where I accidentally starve my horse and show you guys the best way to make money in Red Dead Online. This is hands down going to be the most ridiculously lucrative way to make money in the game. And once you do this, chances are you probably won't have to worry about money again for a long time. Now, keep in mind that what we're going to be doing right now is a glitch. It's a duplication method, and it is available in the game right now. But keep in mind that this is probably going to be patched very quickly. Um, so take advantage of it while you can, or ignore it. I have ignored literally every other glitch in the game so far, and I don't plan on making any of these videos probably ever again but this is a pretty lucrative uh thing and i know there's a lot of people playing the game right now that are looking to find out how to get money or trying to catch up to all the people that have taken advantage of glitches in the past so i'm making this video for all of you i hope you all enjoy this now i did share this with my uh members on my channel already uh, so that they could get a little bit of a head start while i'm actually recording the video um so if you're a member out there make sure to keep an eye on the members only community tab for little tips and tricks like this um, but what we're going to be doing today is you're going to need a fishing rod and you can do this with any fish right now and i'm going to be testing to see if this can be done with anything else um but this was all over reddit and i woke up to a bunch of messages regarding this so i figured i should make a video on it since it's getting spread around already anyways now, I'm going to be going up here and doing this with muskies because this glitch originally originated by using northern pike, which you can get a ton of northern pike along Valentine. This place was flooded with people already when um, when I went to make this video. But muskies sell for $7.75, whereas the um, northern pike sell for $8. Now, you're welcome to check both spots because it will work with both. But you are going to need a fishing rod with either a lake lure or a river lure. Now here you're able to catch a ton of muskies and we just need to catch two of the exact same quality. They do need to be exactly the same quality for this to work and they do need to be large fish that you could put on the back of your horse. Now all you need to do is once you catch two of them, you just constantly replace the fish on the back of your horse and it will duplicate in your horse's inventory. It's incredibly lucrative, and you'll be able to make a ton of money very, very quickly. And now that we finally caught two of these muskies, we can finally start getting this to work. Now, you can do this in just about any location, and you, in fact, don't necessarily need two horses unless you want to travel with both the fish at the same time. You actually don't need to travel with the fish if you don't want to. You can do this little duplication method anywhere on the map and it's a lot easier than any other dupe method that's been shown before so now that as long as you've got two perfect fish uh either a musky or a pike what you're going to do is you're going to replace the one that's on the back of your horse now every time you do this you want to pick up the one that drops and you're going to want to replace the one on the back of the horse and every time you do this it's going to add a fish to the inventory now we can double check this by going into our horse cargo and you should see now that we have three muskies. Now we're going to continue to do this until we either uh, get incredibly bored and want to smash our head through a wall, or we have all the money that we want. Now I imagine this might work with other carcasses as well, so this is definitely something you're going to want to try and do with like perfect cougars or perfect bucks, because uh, they do sell for more, but obviously it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find two perfect cougars and two perfect bucks to continuously replace this with. You can do this as many times as you want. So theoretically, you could just get thousands and thousands of dollars by continuously replacing these fish on your horse. This is an insane way to make money, and we are going to test this as well with different types of creatures. Um, creatures? <laughs> what are we playing? Monster Hunter World? Um, different types of animals. I really want to see if it works with a perfect buck, because they're a little bit more... Um, there's a lot more of them up here than there are perfect cougars. We're also going to check the cougar spawn up here and see if we can duplicate it with cougars. Um, we're going to show how much money you can make with this. We'll do uh, 15 minutes. So I'm going to replicate these for 15 minutes. I'm going to go sell them to the butcher, and we're going to see how, just how much money we can make. So in about 15 minutes, even with me sharing this with my patrons, members, and sponsors out there so they could get a little bit of a head start on this, we were able to accumulate 70 musky. 
And you could probably do this a little bit faster because there are ways to kind of uh, glitch picking up the creature, although I can't seem to get it to work all the time. Uh, some, it's basically like doing the same thing as the uh, carving of animals glitch, where it just instantly picks it up rather than doing the animation. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go and sell all these, and we're going to make $7.75 a piece. Quite a bit of money for not a lot of work. It's mind-numbingly boring, but man, is it lucrative. And just to showcase that this does indeed work, we're going to check our horse cargo once again. Still have 73 musky in there. And we're going to go to the butcher. And we're going to sell these bad boys. Now, unfortunately, we can't sell them all at once. We can see the 73 there. $7.75 a piece, which means we're going to make a total of $565.75 from all of these musky. And you can probably get up to 115 minutes on your horse, which, depending on the creature, is going to net you anywhere between, you know, $500 and $1,000. Now, we're going to try and do this with Cougar and Bucks. Just keep in mind, they do need to be the exact same quality for this to be able to work. I want to see if this would work with any other carcass. So we got a bighorn sheep here. That's a perfect pelt. And we got another perfect bighorn sheep right down here. Now, obviously, you're going to want to be doing this with very lucrative stuff. But I found two perfect animals right next to each other. And I figured I might as well take advantage of it just to see. Because if it works with bighorn sheep, it's going to work with everything else as well. Now, I don't know why it would work with just fish and not carcasses. But we're going to find out. And that way, you guys can save yourself some time. Uh, let's replace this here. That should fall down on the ground, where we can then pick it up. And replace it, and we should have an extra one in the inventory if this is going to work. Let's see here. Horse cargo. Okay, so it does not work uh, with bighorn sheep carcasses. Which is interesting. So it works with fish only right now. Well, let's see if it works with pronghorn bucks. I haven't been able to find two um, perfect regular bucks. Um, pronghorn bucks, I don't think, sell for that much. I'm pretty sure the fishing method is going to be the best. I don't think this is going to work with anything else. Most likely because of the glitches in the past with the cougars and stuff. So it's not going to work with carcasses. I do believe this only works with fish. Now, one of my most favorite spots for catching northern pike is going to be, obviously, along the Kamas River. That's where they spawn the most. But there's one particular spot, well, actually two that I really like. There's this bend with this little, like, uh, inlet that comes out of the river, or outlet, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I believe it's an... I don't even know. Or right here at uh, Granite Pass. There's usually a lot of these northern pike right in around here where it's nice and calm. Um, but right now, I do believe I saw, like, two or three right here. Which is all we need. Now, we just need a good old river lure. And there we go. See, there's a whole bunch of them in there. There's a metric buttload of northern pike. And we're just going to cast and catch a few of these bad boys. And uh, we'll make sure that it does work with both muskies and northern pike. Which I'm 99.99 billion percent sure it does. And when you're fishing for these things, you want to make sure you're not reeling in when they're fighting. And then you're going to drop the rod and pull it back, and this will help you reel them in a lot quicker. And we should be able to get this northern pike. Oh, he's fighting. you got to be careful, because if they fight and you're reeling in at the same time, you stand a really good chance of breaking your line. You really don't want to do that. But we got our first northern pike. We're going to put this on our handy-dandy horse of destiny. And this bad boy is going to sell for $8. Uh, but obviously, with the duplication method, that doesn't work with carcasses. only works with fish right now. Um... We'll be able to make a little bit more money, obviously, per 15 minutes than the muskies. At least you have two different options depending on how populated it is uh, with other players. And wham bam, thank you, man. We got ourselves two northern pikes. Now let's replace this. One drops. Pick that bad boy up. And replace it. There we go. That's the little glitch there. If you stand really close to your horse when you're picking them up, it should theoretically pick up quicker. But doing it on a hill actually really helps. I was trying to get it to work earlier, but this spot right here, the fish drops like in a perfect spot. When you get close enough to your horse, you can like glitch pick it up and you're going to be able to get a lot more money per hour or per 15 minutes if you're able to glitch the pickup. Um, so just keep that in mind. Do it on a hill and you'll be able to pick them up a lot faster. Now after this one, let's check our inventory and make sure they're duplicating. Wham, bam, thank you, man. We got six already. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to lose, potentially lose $800 for science for all of you. We've currently got um, 98 Northern Pike on here, and I want to see if we can stack these above 100. Because theoretically, the real longest part of this is catching the Northern Pike. Um, so if you can stack these above 100, we're at 99 now. Then you could just use the same two fish for as long as you want and just theoretically do it one time. Uh, let's see here. Did it reset at 100? It is at 100. Science is amazing. But I didn't want to, like, tell you guys that it was going to work and then have it reset on you. I feel like that would have been the world's worst thing ever. Uh, so, yeah, it does go over 100. So around 101 Dalmatian Pike at the moment. That means we got $800 on our horse right now. This is amazing. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to test as well to kind of expedite the time it takes to do this, and that's uh, because of the disconnection issues, I do want to make sure that I sell all the ones that I spend time dupli- or du selling all the ones that I spend time duplicating. Words are hard and the struggle is real, but I want to see if we can uh, leave one left and have it still be on the horse, so we only have to worry about catching one. And unfortunately, since we glitched them in, it looks like um it does disappear so that's kind of unfortunate but you know i really cannot complain at all plus we get to catch salmon while doing this so this method is just incredibly lucrative it will be patched soon and as i've mentioned the only reason i'm covering this now is because there are thousands of people that got to take advantage of glitches like this in the beta and there's tons of new people that are getting into the game now and um, I feel like it's a little unfair that many people were able to take advantage of this before and a lot of the new people are way way behind so I will not be covering any of these in the future but I will be covering tons of tips and actual legitimate methods for leveling up making money and stuff like that now if this does end up patched I do have a video on the best way to get gold money and experience all at the same time so feel free to check that video out if you so desire, but feel free to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video, and subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 2 and online content in the coming weeks and months as we get lots of new content added to Red Dead Online. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.